Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. So, last episode, we finished our war with Kuzate. I'd like to say I came out on top, but honestly, as far as territory captured, uh, I barely, barely won in my own assessment. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is fully disband my army. All of them. Everybody. Everybody goes. Uh, the reason for this is I am going to be going on a recruiting spree. And I don't want to be burdened with anybody. Uh, that also includes my own companions. What I plan on doing is getting a bit of a head start. And then telling my companions to follow me. Like Can, Trust, and Damien. Uh, but not doing it immediately. Disbanding your army like this periodically is going to be very, very helpful because your vassals and your companions will have a chance to buy food for your army, uh, or their own armies, I should say, replenish your, their troops, and guard the territory from would-be raiders, looters, etc. These are all necessary components to a healthy kingdom, or a queendom in my case. And for that reason, it is important that these guys go free. Uh, I will <clears throat> prove this in a sort of weird way. Right now, we have a total strength of 4,800. Let's just round down. In about a month's time, I am going to guess that all things being equal, that number goes up by mm, maybe about 1,000 or more, possibly. Now that... Wow, I'm the only one that's wounded. Ouch. That is, uh, well, that hurts my feelings. Um, now that we have a very small party, we're also going to be able to move more quickly. It seems that Serilyn here has some bow skills. So, Hunter Clan increased the damage against mounts with bows by 30%. Or, I can hold longer without losing accuracy. Let's go with Discipline. That sounds good to me. What I haven't done in a while... Ooh, you know, I should probably do that now. Uh, done... What I haven't done in quite some time is to level up Damien, Kand, and Trustin. Um, and I do have enough room in my own army to accommodate their troops. So I think now is a very good time to do that. So I didn't wait very long. I'm already calling them in. Now, Gale's Castle... I can ignore the siege tag, it's just because it was under siege when I save and loaded. Uh, that is just a little bit of a game bug, one that you can easily ignore. Alright, Phaeus. Or Phaea. You are Krotor's kid. You know, Krotor might not be that hard of a person to recruit. One thing I didn't do, and I will openly admit this, is... Uh, I did not check for... Oh, there's two Krotors. Uh, well, I don't want you. Um, your last needs are seen on Ica Castle. Okay, I did not check the vassal list to see what vassals are free to be recruited or easy to be recruited. I should have done that, but I'm going to sort of do it on the fly. I don't want to make this episode about chasing down vassals, per se. Um, and to that, to that end, I'd rather just find them if I'm near them. So they're near Xerocorcus, which is this way. Okay, so I know I have the direction that Krotor is moving. Now I do intend to primarily focus upon replenishing my Valanian troops. Gale's Castle will go to Tynops, no doubt. Tynops was the one that abandoned his own king and joined me on the fly. That was actually very cool. Tavern District. Let's go ahead and ransom off all of the people in my prisoner list that will never join me. And then do a little bit of trading. I think that we likely have... Yeah, a... a, a fair bit of junk.
Yep, total junk. Everything junk. I have a lot of grain, fish, grapes, and beer. So anything that is not what I just mentioned, I can buy. Dates, meat, uh, oil and wine. Sure. All right. Here is Krotor. Found him pretty easily. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like he's running for me. Archon. Wait, that's not going to work. Uh... What do you think of your liege? Okay. This is a long shot, and it's immediately a critical fail. Bye, Krotor. Nice having you in conversation. He basically just flipped me off. Uh, so manage the town. Oh boy, this town... He's barely loyal to me. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I mean, can I, I could install one of my own governors, but I don't think that's really going to help. Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. I'm going to I'm gonna keep him loyal. I, loyalty doesn't really matter. Uh, one of the things I wanted to check for is war horses. Which they don't have any? For real? Let me go to horses and sort by... Oh no, they really don't have any war horses. I do have an, a, a pretty ridiculous amount of money. So, checking for... Uh, stacked bodkin arrows I could buy. Those are some of the best arrows you'll be able to equip. But just any sort of gear that I might want. Is worth it. So the stack bodkins. Hey, cheese radar. You'll get those. And let's move on. I wonder how far my vassals are. Chavel. Uh, never mind. Let's see, so far, we have gone up about 200, uh, close to 300 in, uh, in total strength. That is from recruiting from all of my vassals. So it really does, it truly does help. Alright, here's a Vlending Courser. And... I don't see any armor that is going to be superior, so we'll just buy the Courser. Right. I'm going to check in with all of my towns. It has been a long, long, long time since I've done that. And uh, as you can see, a town like this, I'm going to dump 200k in it and work on... Uh, building it up a bit. There's also a lack of shops. Oh, you know, I think that's just missing that's just missing a uh, an icon. Cuz I was like, I don't know if a shop can be destroyed and not built. I didn't think that was a thing. And honestly, it isn't. Oh, that's a pretty good helmet. It's not quite as good as what I'm using, but that's it's pretty good. All right. Uh, nothing nothing here is better. But we do have some more stack bodkins. I like stack bodkins over piercing. Piercing does a little bit more damage, but stack bodkins has a lot more uh, arrows themselves. So I'm going to buy these stack bodkins as well to hand out to my vassals. Um, it's expensive, but when it comes down to how many arrows can you shoot, it will be worth it. So Cheese already got his. We'll go from the reverse list here. Uh... Raptor Talon has hers, and now Val the Vulture has his. Now if I go into my clan tab, rotate Amatatus Legata to see, oh wow, I just own town, I, no, I own one castle. 
I would love to give this Herdigia Castle up. I really don't need Herdigia Castle. I'll check in on it. Uh, and actually, it looks like there's a ridiculous amount of mountain bandits around it, which is not great. But, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Let's drop some money in it. And it's now improving. It has no garrison. Has no prisoners. I should have been checking prisoners and garrisons the whole time, to be fair. Uh, back at Rote and uh, Zianica. Yeah, there is a fair bit of looters uh, moving around these villages. Alright. And trade. Okay, again, no amazing armor. We do have more stacked bodkins. Some war mounts. All right. Going on a little bit of a shopping spree, am I? All right, Val. Free dog. You've got barbed. Perfect. Here's an upgrade. I'm going to go to Orticia and then work my way into Valandian territory to recruit like you've never seen before. Because I am I can support so many more troops than I currently have. So I'm, if you're curious, dropping reserve money into these towns so that they build a little bit faster. Think of it as seed money. I guess. Okay, no amazing armor here. We do have more stat bod caneros. And no war horses. Got some dates, oil, butter, cheese, olives, meat, beer. Uh, I am over capacity actually, so I'm gonna sell some grapes and grain and fish to make room. And then next up, I think, is going to be Valandian, Valandian land. All right, bash. Ooh, you had all sorts of terrible. Ooh, Valandia pushing big towards Azurai, I think. Uh, I bet if I check, they're at war with one another. Yep, they are at war with one another. My strength going up even more, as you can see. And that's not even accounting for my own troops. Now, one other... Ooh, hi, Belgir. I might be able to recruit Belgir. One other uh, tip I received in comments is that Silas was not really making money on her trade runs. Uh, let's see. You know what? That's because you're not even trade running. All right, last scene at Varchek. Got it. I don't see Silas caravan funds at all. I'm a little confused by this. You are technically caravanning. Hmm. Oh, now your daily change is thousand in the posit. You're fine. I take it back. Okay, so these guys are Valandian recruits. Oh, right, Belgir. I think Belgir is a clan leader. He is, but not one that's going to be easy to recruit because he owns two territories. Doesn't stop me much. I'll still ask. Uh, we're getting pretty successful initially. If we can keep this up. Maybe he can then ask for a bajillion dollars to join us. 
Yep. Oh my god. So, here as you can see, we move the, giving him 420k, we move the needle almost nothing. He's asking for literal millions. Literal millions. Yeah, no. That is why I've been going after landless lords. Because the landed ones, yeah, they're just not recruitable. Uh, Joran, Amalgan. Jo oh, Joran is a really good person to ask. Because he is landless. I mean, even help his party. I'm just going to send troops. Because. Hello, Joran. Alright, let's make sure to click on Joran. There we go. Oh, that's not a good start. You're so recruitable, man. Just join me. I, I will give you land. Deathert doesn't care for you. He hasn't given you land. So I need a critical success chance on this last one. And it's a critical fail at 12%. The success was 68. You know, game? I hate you, game. What about Amalgan? Amalgan is Engalther's kid. Uh, I could add Engalther. Uh, who is at Q... Oh, never mind. He's at QES. Uh, I could try at some point for Engalther, but uh, not likely anytime soon. Okay, adding some more war horses and selling off the arrows that no one wants. Do you have amazing? No, you don't. Wow, that actually, that helmet looks really dumb, but it is very, very, very strong. This is not better than my current ones, but they're very, very close. Uh, what about stacked bodkins? Nope. Okay, done we are. Acela. You are in Galther's oh, man. That's not going to work. Okay, so here comes Damien. Uh, they just recruited everyone before I got there. They're selling Sturgeon Hunters for big ticket prices. Okay, no armor worth buying. We do have more stacked bodkins. Oh, they have a short bill. Short bills are uh, similar to Rumphias that I'm uh, using. Sort of. Not, not super similar, but close. Three dog, bash, Dallin, it's your turn now. There you go, the good arrows. Wow, someone cleaned Sargot out of everything possible to recruit. Another alternative or another um, possibility is for me to uh, hire out some mercenaries. Whoa, Damien, what happened? Oh, you must be starving to death. I'm going to let them. Enter my, uh... Oh, God, can... They all... Stupid, stupid, stupid vassals. They all starved themselves to death? I don't know why. And, like, wounded all their troops? Yeah, the, the AI is not necessarily, uh... The artificial intelligence. The eye does not stand for intelligence sometimes. I don't know what else to say. I guess I shouldn't have had them, like, chasing me for so long, but still, I mean, that's just so dumb. So, one of the things I was going to do is, um... I'm going to take all of the troops 
from Trustin. Trustin I'll do first. And then go to my Parties tab. Disband Trustin. And tell him to join me. And in this way, oh, and you know what? I should do the same thing to Can. Because somehow or another, Can. Uh, wait. It says you have part. Wait, are they all wounded? Ah, oh, yeah, they're all wounded. Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, join my army. Okay, let's do Trustin first. So now Trustin is in my party. And I should be able to level him up. A lot. So throwing. Uh, it doesn't really matter because he doesn't throw. So I'm just going to pick just anything. Tactics matters. Infantryman does more damage to cavalry and simula uh, simulations. Yes, we'll go with that. Rather than loose. Um... More damage in forests versus deserts. Larger party size. More damage to all battles, not just bandits. Uh, swift regroup for de decreased disorganization time and not leaving any people behind. All right, then in terms of uh, stewardship. Party wage, uh, party food is less. XP for all troops. Decrease food consumption. Um, raiding villages give more food. Uh, and then foreseeable future, which is uh, higher morale for, for food. Uh, you also have a free focus point. Let's focus on... Oh, boy. Uh, maybe your own tactics. Done. And then... I'm going to have his troops heal under my supervision. And then I'll create a army for him. Because that's probably going to be better. I'll get the medic skill too. Alright, some more war horses. No stack bodkins. No amazing armor. There's a lot of people around me. Blag of the Forest People Party, that's a mercenary. Uh, who are you? Allerstan? Wait, no, Allerstan is the town. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Nif Nifon. Uh, so Sarandon is definitely someone I should talk to, and they were last seen at Provind. Okay, which is north. I don't know why I didn't highlight. That was weird. Any sort of clues as to good recruits is awesome. Now, I do have a bit of a negative gold change, but uh, I'm really not that worried about it. Yeah, given the uh, amount of money I have, it's really not that much of an issue. And it won't be for a long, long time. Jeez, they are just clearing it out. A lot of the places I've been going just doesn't have a single soul to recruit. An indicator, of course, and this is true, that uh, they're currently on a war campaign, and they are, so I guess that does make sense, but it is a little frustrating to be trying to recruit some Valandian troops and getting no one.
Okay, there are some troops in my armies here that can be leveled up. Uh, some of the issue why they weren't being leveled up previously was that uh, it seemed like Trustin didn't have war horses to give them. So is that everyone? Wow, there's a lot of troops here now. Who are you? Shalar. Alright, Sarandon, so you're still seen near Provend. You're in Provend. Perfect. That's going to be easy to try to talk to you to recruit. I think just Chanis is also on my list who just rode out of here. I'm going to be over troop limit. I acknowledge that. Alright. We are going to go to the keep. Talk to Sarandon. Come on. Come on, Sarandon. You tiny little man. Nope. There is no way of making this conversation work. Wow, he really just... I'm rolling so low here. Alright, bye-bye, Sarandon. Who else is here? Uh, Otto... Oh, well, Can is my own. I think Otto is... Someone's kid or something. Oh, no. Company of Boar. Okay. Well, I tried. It's really, 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 really not working. But I tried. Alright, so Chanis, what about you? So Chanis, you are... Oh, Joron. Well, again, I just messed up my conversation with Joron, so that's not going to work either. Okay. At this point, let's go ahead and party up. Create a new party with Trustin. And give him all of the troops. Okay, I don't believe I handed him any Valandians. Perfect. And I'm going to have him immediately rally to me so that I feed him. There we go. So I was really hoping to do a lot more talking to the nobles and getting people on my side. And that really just does not seem to be a reasonable goal, I suppose. All right, next up, uh, I would say Damien. Let me tick all your troops before I run out of room for them. Oh, apparently I already do. Disband your party. Have you join me? You don't have a single skill point to spend because you were a noble and had already spent it. Okay. But can, can you will, right? I think. Maybe can won't. But I'll still do the same process with her just in case I'm wrong. Alright, fun. Let's go ahead and create a new party. That's going to be a lot of effort to give you your troops back. Well, not that much effort. It does give me the ability to... Um, Upgrade some of his troops because he he himself did not have war horses to do so. And then click a bajillion times. Oh, 
Okay, done. And Damien. Rally to me. Now this is the other engulfer. Yeah, no, he belongs to a uh, mercenary faction. All right, Can, now it's your turn. Uh, where'd she go? She was like underneath me. Uh, all right. This would have been, if I was smart, this would have been a really good time. Wow, no skill points to assign either. Very close to leveling up, but not quite there. All right, let me go through every character that I have right now. Um, Cheese Radar Deluxe has an, a free attribute point, so I'm gonna put that into Endurance. Richard the Stag does as well. I will also put that endurance. Silas, uh, I need to catch up with. Vreedog, endurance as well. All right, so I just believe that Silas is the only one that needs to get leveled up. Okay. Confirm. Create the party again. Can, you're out. And this is a good thing. Uh, let me click on my levy crossbowmen so I know when to stop sending troops over. A little bit of a trick, I guess. Because now I can see those levies. Done. I do have room for one more um, companion. I guess. So we can also go bar hopping looking for companions. But I think hiring vassals is, or recruiting vassals is far more of an important task. You. Oh, you know what? You're king. Yeah, you're the ruler of the Northern Empire. So yeah, you're not joining me. What about Cervic? Come on, why is this not working? S E R V I C. S E R V I C. There we go. It just wasn't auto filling. Cervic, uh, I could talk to you, but I'm sure you're going to be unbelievably expensive given that you hold two territories. I'm not above trying. Just, uh, dot will work. Okay, buying the war horses. Yeah, they have some pretty stellar helmets here. I don't want to impoverish myself just because I want a helmet or two, though. Well, let's try talking to Servic. Unless he's running away from me. It looks like he's just bolting. And then another thing I could do is not only recruit for... Because Red Ann... Who are you? Oh, you're the leader of the Gilman. Okay. Yeah, all right. I'll hire you. Well, you weren't even up for hire. Or maybe I clicked the wrong thing, but I don't really care. I wasn't actually all that interested. So once I fill up my own army, I'm going to keep recruiting and giving them over to my companions that still need to refill their own troops. Because they're not in any, any way close to full either. Great. I just saw in the news feed that Luchin got Balgard, which means I am not going to be able to recruit Luchin in this lifetime or maybe the next. My brother in law. I'm also going to need to be on the lookout for hordes of looters. To level up my recruits and possibly to put my recruits on their own party 
so that it can send them and only them exclusively to go kill um, whomever. You know, the looters or, or whoever I'm grinding on. Ooh, a, finally a decent variety of troops being offered up. So far, it's mostly been just garbage. Same old garbage. And some stock, stacked bodkins. Well, looky here. I have not, however, been finding uh, decent armor for me to, to grab, but... Rich at the Stag. And that officially wraps up all of the stack bodkins I need to purchase. Now, as far as parties go, I have 109 Valandian recruits. I'm going to put them on the Heavy Cavalry uh, party so that I can order them individually. Can, Damien, and Trustin still have wounded troops? Yeah, they when they ran out of food for them, they starved the hell out of them. In like a really, really, really bad way. One could make the argument that I should be checking to buy food at the villages here. I don't disagree. Just, I haven't been doing that. Okay. Balgar just got recaptured. Which means Luchin might be... Yes, Luchin is territorialist. Territorialist. Let's get out to try to recruit him. It's definitely out of our way, but I've just scoured all of Valandian land, more or less. And come up with... You know, I've, I've basically maxed out my recruits. That I can draw from this land for a bit, so... I think... Much, much, much more importantly, uh, we are going to want to add vassals. Uh, Ragnvad just declared war on Valandia. That's a big old joke. Let's take a look at, now that it's been like a month, yeah, 6k. I've got up uh, 1,200 troops just from letting my vassals re-recruit. Now, if I had more vassals, that would be even a more impressive number. Or, alternatively, um, there's nothing to stop me from hiring um, Batanian recruits and then giving them to my own companions. So I'm going to do that while I'm marching towards Luchin. Because I might as well. I can't use them in my army, but once I have enough of them, I will send them over to fill up my companions' armies. And uh, they won't be high-tier troops, but they'll be something. At least... I'm also going to try to intercept Silas here to get Silas recruited or uh, leveled up. But disbanding a caravan is a little bit different than disbanding an army, understandably. Almost every single one of my prisoners wants to join me, because I am just that charming. Okay, uh, trust in how many people can you take on? Six. Okay, you're done. Damien, you can take on 14. So let's count these out. One, three, four, uh, so you are now at 152, so I need to bring seven back. I'll just do that math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
And now you're full. And then can only three. So I guess I really don't have a lot of room left to bring in Batanian troops. So one, two, three. And the remainder of my volunteers uh, are gonna just get disbanded. Bye bye, four volunteers. Oh, and now Diathma just got handed over to Luchin. Can you stop giving Luchin stuff? I mean, it's cool and all, but like, Jesus. Uh, another thing I could do is to head south to some of these others. I do have some clans marked down that would be very recruitable, and three of them are uh, Azurai. Ospir, not so much anymore. Oops. Tovir, not so much anymore. He is Mechalivia Castle. Vashorki, possibly. And Amor is not too far from here. So let's head to Amor to talk to Vashorki. Oh, there is Ra Raganbad. Alright, let's uh let's go ahead and disband Silas's no not Kate from Clan. Um Disband the party. Talk to the caravan, join me. Uh that should put a bunch of unwanted troops in my party, I think. Yep, it does. Good. Oddly good. Uh, so let's ride out to Varcheg and start a new uh, caravan. But first, let's go to Silas. Give you more endurance. Oh, well, what gives? Why, why can't I level you up? You're in my party, are you not? Hang on, I'm having a bit of a... Yeah, you're in my party, so why the heck can I not level you up? Hmm. Game's having a bit of a mental breakdown. Let's try this again. Silas? There we go, there we go. Uh, Swift Strike, or... Yeah, Swift Strike. Scouting. Let's give you... Bonus to Daytime. Bonus movement... In Steps and Planes. And movement in Deserts. For Tactics... Tight formations, asymmetrical warfare, small unit tactics, because you're a caravan leader, and coaching. For throwing, it doesn't matter because you don't throw anything. And then we have endurance points, and let's level up your bow. Oh my god. What is going on with your bow, dude? Okay, I do need to buy something better bow wise you also have the wrong shield everyone else is highland oh no Valdivarcha has the wrong shield too whatever I, I'm not going to unify their shields so Lucios are you a no you're not all right let's do a little bit of a shopping spree for Silas before we set you off on your own again your horse is pretty... Your actually horse is amazing. Stacked bodkins. The best bow that you can equip... Ugh. A step bow. That's marginally better than what you had on. And then... The oval shield, I think, is what I was using. Yes. Except for other people had battered versions. That's fine. 
All right, so you are decently set up now. Uh, your cape kind of sucks. Because of how little time I spend with her, uh, I want to set her up real nice with gear. Because, why not? Ew, those... Ah, eh, whatever. Th those brat... Those are so ugly, but... That's your problem, not mine now. Alright, 100k on your gear. Silas, that should be... That should make you happy. Um, take a walk around the town center. I need to talk to someone about starting a caravan. Oh, you know what? Uh, let me start in the tavern. It's going to be a lot, lot quicker. I haven't spent any time walking around towns in a long time. Alright, Magan, you should uh, allow me to start a caravan here. Oops, uh, maybe I shouldn't kick you. <laughs> Form a caravan. I'll pay the money. Silas. Alright, uh, at this point I also have a ton of those random troops that I didn't want. That I took off Silas. Uh, so that's a problem. I'm just gonna donate them to Varchag. I don't really, I don't really care to keep them. So, oh, no, and I can't do that because I don't own Varchag. Uh, I'm just gonna release them. So these prisoners, I'm gonna release. I know I could r ransom them off, but I'm not poor enough to care. There, they're gone. All right, so Veshorki, here we come, and Silas is already underway. On caravan. So after talking to Veshorki, that will be probably the end of this episode. And then what I intend to do is ride south. Next episode, I'm going to make it a point of trying to recruit as much as I can. Uh, vassals, that is. So... I'll probably be heading down to Azurai, but what I'll do is I'll compile a list of all vassals. Um, so we were after Vash Shorky here, and he is near Sorkin. Perfect, he's real close by. Before I go over there... Oh, that helmet looks pretty cool. Oh, no, it doesn't. I lied. Those boots are one point stronger than my current ones, so I'll buy them. See if I can't... Yep, there we go. I can hand down my old boots. Twice, actually. Alright, Vashorki. There you are. And Oshir is here, too. I think I wanted to talk to Oshir as well. Hey, so Vashorki... What do you think of Caladog? Because I am the bee's knees. What's your personality like? You are generous, so let's appeal to your generosity. It's ineffective. Okay, come on. Crit uh, I don't have any critical success chance here. I can't recruit Veshorki. Man, I am getting all sorts of unlucky. And then Ashir. You are friends with me. Oh, but you're a skull over. You're a. You're a mercenary. Just, just join me. But like, whatever. All right. Well, that is it. I know it was just a about fifty minutes of me marching around in a big old circle recruiting people. Um, but if you have any feedback for me, let me know. Next episode, you can almost assuredly know that I'm going to go on a bit of a recruiting spree because I need more vassals. There is no way around that other than doing the footwork. 
yourself. Fortunately, I was able to add a ton of recruits from my Valandian recruits to my army. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all next episode. Farewell. <laughs>